Hey guys, I'm Otto from Everything Amiibo, and today we're going to be talking about the announcement of Pokemon Go for iOS and Android. Just a couple hours ago, the Pokemon Company International held a press conference in Japan and announced a brand new game for Android and iOS, that is, Pokemon Go. Now, this game is incredibly interesting, and I'll go through each of the different features with a bunch of slides here. I, of course, cannot show the video in this video um, because it would get taken down for copyright. So make sure you go and click the link in the description below to see the original video before you watch this. All right, I guess I can assume you've seen the video now and are super hyped. So without further ado, let's go over all the details. First up, the game seems to employ some sort of virtual reality in conjunction with GPS to give you these markers of where wild Pokemon might appear. You can see that in the right on this picture. It shows a picture of Charizard and says, um, in range. And there are multiple other places in the trailer where you can see these signs used. Most likely this means you'll be holding up your camera and moving around your city or whatever, and you might see some signs of where wild Pokemon are. But if this is just a bit of extra hype, what could happen is it's actually just markers on a little map you'll have and there's no virtual reality involved with the signs. However, it was confirmed by the Pokemon company that virtual reality will indeed be involved. So as you can see here, that Charizard level 36 has been spotted by the player and most likely if somehow the map stuff isn't virtual reality, these Pokemon definitely will be. Now this is a dream come true for me. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Just actually seeing your Pokemon, you know, come out of their Pokeball and pop into real life would just be amazing but we'll talk about that actual using your own pokemon later for now you can find pokemon in the wild in specific places on the map is what it's looking like and you can catch them during the trailer you can spot the use of a pokeball an ultra ball and a great ball most likely we will see the master ball but it didn't appear here my guess is that master balls may indeed be a microtransaction that gets you an instant catch hopefully that won't affect the game too much but anyway I'm getting ahead of myself here so basically you have a number of pokeballs which are most likely purchased from a store with either Pokemon money or real money who knows at this point and you can use those to attempt the, to catch the Pokemon in the wild it looks like you have a pretty decent inventory with this first screen showing a guy with honey super potions and a pokeball so there's going to be a lot of item interactivity which is pretty cool but is kind of scary when you're thinking about microtransactions being on the horizon once you've caught these pokemon you can go and track down another pokemon go user and you can trade with them it seems the process is pretty darn simple hopefully it's a lot quicker than the main series pokemon games where trading took quite a while and was a decent burden from the video, it does look like trading will take just a couple of taps. Once you've caught and traded for your dream team of Pokemon, you can go and challenge other players. And not only can you challenge in the traditional way, but you can actually do three versus three battles. Who knows, there may be support for um, larger versus battles in the future. But for now, you can do one versus one and three versus three confirmed. Most likely two versus two will also be there. Now the main thing about these battles that surely caught your eye at this point, you may indeed be able to use AR to have your Pokemon fight in the real world. Now this could just be a bunch of promotional rubbish where your Pokemon just fight on your mobile device, but I'm staying hopeful that one day I'll be able to battle my friends on the streets of Glasgow. Now speaking of cities, the trailer revealed one more very interesting feature, raid battles. From what I've gathered, raids seem set to be some sort of periodic event where you join together with a ton of other Pokemon Go players and fight big bosses, basically. The first to be confirmed is Mewtwo, and in the style of the first Pokemon movie, we see all of these Pokemon going and attacking Mewtwo, everybody joining forces to beat him, which really evokes a lot of nostalgia, which is what I'm sure they're going for there. 
but I'm interested to see who else they would put up as the boss Pokemon, because I don't really see anybody else fitting this role. Maybe it's just that legendaries will only be boss Pokemon. It's also worth noting that at the end of the battle, when the people are victorious, it displays the message, Gotcha! Mewtwo was caught. So it looks like fighting one of these bosses and beating them will net you a free Pokemon. Lastly, the trailer ends with the only true gameplay footage. We see an Android and an iOS phone pretty much displaying the same image, where we see a Pokemon with their level, and they're surrounded by this green grassy area, which looks to be totally computer animated, not indeed augmented reality. So that's very interesting, but yeah, we'll just leave that there and you guys can speculate on that by yourselves. That's it for this video folks, if you're hyped for Pokemon Go, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Everything Amiibo for more on Pokemon Go and for more Nintendo toys and games. I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.